are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, we need to talk about Ice Cube because there is a WNBA player that is really, really pissed off with Ice Cube. Now, the WNBA is irrelevant. I've been very, very clear about that. But I've also said that women's college basketball is much bigger than the WNBA. And this topic of uh, this video proves that. Everyone knows that. Now, women's college basketball, the last couple of seasons, they have been on the rise. The ratings have actually been better in some games than the NBA. Think about that. Women's college basketball in March Madness was actually beating the NBA. Nobody actually cares about the WNBA. Now, Caitlin Clark of Iowa. She's a bit time star in sports right now. I will say this. If I'm Caitlin Clark, no way in the world am I going to the WNBA. Now, WNBA definitely needs her. But I believe it will actually hurt her if she actually goes to the WNBA. I believe there's better options out there. I mean, financially, financially speaking, I believe she's already making more money than pretty much every single WNBA player. Her NIL money definitely paying more than the WNBA. I mean, when you look at it, guys, the WNBA made no money. Caitlin Clark at this point is a brand in of herself. And people have noticed she has been the talk in sports of uh, 2024 for the most part. Nobody cares about the WNBA. But it does seem like she's actually going to go to the WNBA. Now we know she's not going to make any money in the WNBA. And I got to be honest, I'm not even sure if she will move the needle. I mean, the WNBA has had other great women's basketball players like Diana Taurasi who was great in college and nobody talks about her in WNBA. And granted now she's like 40 years old, but she won, I believe um, three WNBA MVPs. I believe she's also won a championship. Nobody talks about that. Caitlin Clark is a star. Now, I don't know if you guys actually heard this or not, but uh, Ice Cube at the bit three, he has made an offer to Caitlin Clark and boy, it is a whole bunch of money. Now, if I'm her, there's no way in the world I'm actually going to pass up this to play in the bit three. And I believe the bit three is more popular than the WNBA. Now, there's no women playing in the bit three. I believe she would be the first one. I could be mistaken about that. But Ice Cube wants to give Caitlin Clark a huge payday. So let's talk about it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday. Just starts at five dollars per month. And we appreciate the support. So here we go. Look at this on OutKick. WNBA player live it with Caitlin Clark's five million dollar pro offer from Bit3 Men's League. Yes, you read that correct, guys. I saw this earlier. And I was planning on making a video on, the, on this anyway. Ice Cube is going to pay Caitlin Clark five million dollars to play in the bit three. Now, we know the WNBA, the highest paid player gets something like what? Two hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the whole season. That's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of these uh, women's um, WNBA players actually go overseas and make like a million dollars or so. Now, this one WNBA player who you have never heard of is triggered by this. Los Angeles sports player Letsy Brown, never heard of her, isn't happy with Ice Cube offering Caitlin Clark some big money. Ice Cube confirmed he made an offer to Clark to play just 10 bit three games for reported five million dollars. She can earn five hundred thousand dollars a game to be the first female player in the men's three-on-three -three league. And the offer also allows her to play in the WNBA. 
It's an incredible offer that will make Clark paid like an NBA player and paid on a per game average among the highest in the NBA. Yeah, that's a lot of money, man. Now, the thing is, will she actually um, accept the offer? I'm not really sure. Now, she would actually have to play against the men. And we know in a bit three, you do actually have, um, yeah, of course you have um, male basketball players, but usually a lot of these guys are like retired. But still, she still would be a draw, I believe, to the bit three. She really would. Now, in a WNBA, if she goes there, I don't think she's going to move the needle. I really don't. But look at this here. The Sparks player who will earn a little more than $80,000 this WNBA season took to to give Ice Cube a piece of her mind. And boy, she is triggered. Look over here on Ets. Now, Ice Cube put this out right here. He says, we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship. But I won't deny what's now already out there. Bit three made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the bit three. Now, Lexi Brown don't know who she is. Look what she actually puts out, says. So no other women's basketball player has came to mind in the last seven years. Um, no, no. I mean, what WNBA player in the last seven years has actually moved the needle? I can't think of any. Ice Cube is making a business decision because Caitlin Clark is a megastar right now. And look at this here. Then she writes, instead of, I don't know, supporting the women's league that already exists. Let's do this in the middle of the NCAA tournament. Well, the thing is, your league is dead. Your league makes no money. Who in the WNBA is actually a draw? Nobody. Because if you actually had players that were a draw, you would actually be making money. She keeps going on. She says, this isn't a dig at uh, CC. Relax and support all women's sports. I'm not arguing with any of y'all, by the way. And then this person here replies, um, he should take the money from his own lead, Bit3, to support the lead that notoriously, that's notorious for underpaying WNBA, that's owned by the league, uh, trying to ruin him, NBA. Also, Cube didn't leak the story, TMZ did. Thing is, man, nobody cares about the WNBA. Absolutely nobody. So she is triggered that Ice Cube is not investing his money in WNBA. For one thing, the WNBA needs to give people a reason to actually watch the product. They got ESPN, but um, ESPN has to push WNBA because they have the rights to the broadcast. Nobody's watching. The players in the WNBA need to stop being woke and actually grow their sport. Until that happens, guess what? Nobody's going to watch. Remember, they tried to make a big deal about uh, Brittany Griner, you know, coming back from Russia. And then they played at the uh, L.A. Sparks. Guess what? Almost nobody showed up for uh, Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, not a star. Not a star. It's clear Caitlin Clark is a bigger star than Brittany Griner. It's not even close. And she's in college. Because the women's college game is bigger than the WNBA, man. Let's just face it, man. Your league is dead. Dead. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.